tonight. So just your general thoughts on, on the performance tonight. Yeah, it was just a really good hockey game, right? It's playoffs, uh, you know, overtime, anything can happen. Um, you know, there's things we got to do better, but there's things we also did well. I think coming into this building on the road against a really good team, if you would have said we're going to put ourselves in position to, to be tied last 10 minutes of the game in the overtime, you take that, uh, and then you just got to find a way to, to win it in overtime. End of third period, you had the delayed penalty for more than a minute plus the power play. Yeah, the power play's got to be better. You got one shot on goal. Power play wasn't good enough tonight. Um, so that, that was huge. You know, their special teams outperformed ours. Our special team's been real good down the stretch. Uh, wasn't good enough tonight for sure. But Subban's performance kept you in it in the third period, really. Yeah, I, I thought he was real good. Um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought, you know, their goalie was good, our goalie was good. Uh, we got a lot of belief in Subi. We, you know, he played how I expected him to play. He didn't seem to have any qualms, any problems playing the pass hold and that, that line. Uh, well, number one, um, they played well, um, so no, I didn't. Number two, we don't, we don't have a lot of options. So, um, you know, you, you play the, the lineup you have available right now. Um, so, uh, but, but it's credit to them. Um, they're going to play regardless right now. It is what it is, but they, they played very well. You get 25 goals down in the end. It's the kick and score, right? Well, he's a good player, and we signed him for a reason. You know, he's not just the East Coast League call-up. He's an American League contract. He had a very good college career at Western Michigan. Um, you know, we, we brought him to rookie camp, um, and, and he had a really good year in Cincinnati. The winning goal? Uh, you know, I mean, it's a mistake on our part. At the same point in time, the best player on the ice made an elite play. Who lost the puck in the corner? Did we couldn't tell. Um, it over I haven't learned. I haven't seen it, and it's in that far corner, yeah, so yeah. it's hard for me to see it, it. You know, one of our wingers definitely turned it over there, but we still were in good position. Then we got beat up high. Um, you know, like I said, it, you know, I mean, Meyer's an NHL player. Uh, the best, the best player on the ice made a, made an elite play there. For the most part, pretty good. Um, I thought that, you know, obviously we got down. Uh, we had a pretty good first. Uh, we got down. We didn't let the crowd or the game get away from us. And then we got down again and again. We didn't let the crowd or the game get away from us. You know, that, uh, those are important things in the playoffs. It, it's You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get scored on. They're going to make plays. They have a good team. And how you respond to that. So I thought we responded well to those moments. Um, now we need, especially some of the young guys who, who haven't been in a ton of these moments to kind of process what they went through tonight, uh, what they did well, what they struggled with, and then and then ready to attack tomorrow. You mentioned the advantage on special teams. What do you guys need to do better tomorrow? Well, we'll look at the video tonight and, and make adjustments. Uh, my assistants are awesome. They've done a great job with our special teams. The special teams have been excellent this year. Um, so. You know, you'll get, uh, you know, Pex will, will make adjustments on our power play and we'll, we'll watch the videos of, of staff tonight. And, uh, Webby will make some adjustments uh, on, on the kill. And, and uh, you know, and a lot of it then comes down to, you know, puck battles as well uh, on both. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we want enough puck battles on the special teams. On the power play, you that extends possession, then maybe they're tired and you break them down. On the penalty kill, if you don't win them, you don't get those clears, and then you get stuck out there a little bit longer than you'd like to. Um, and then you can't take back-to-back -back penalties either, right? That's when they got the second goal. And that first goal was, wasn't was really anything that they did on the power play. The second goal was a nice play by them, but we, you know, you give them two in a row, uh, usually that's a recipe for, for disaster. Is that the type of game you were expecting? Yes. Yes, hard, fast, physical, not a lot of space out there. You got to work for all your offense. Um, you know, a lot of shots uh, for their part, but you know, not a lot on the interior. Um, you know, it's, it, was a, it, was a, it was a game for men. It's what you expect it to be at this time of the year in the playoffs, yes. What's the biggest positive that you take into tomorrow? From tomorrow? I think that uh, we weren't great. I thought we were good, just good. Uh, we have better in us. Um, it's our first playoff game as a team. It's our first game in North American playoffs for a lot of our guys. And um, I guess the positive would be I thought we were just OK. And, and uh, we put ourselves in position to win the game. Do we get any closer? Uh, you know, we'll see. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if he'll be available for tomorrow or not. He's close. He's close. Kulik is close. Uh, but I don't know if he'll be available for tomorrow or not.